This is the necropolis in Argentina. This is where the Argentines bury their dead. Above ground so it's easier for the zombies to come out. Sergeant Vegan for the Vegan Road Trip. So I'm here today in the famous Hicoleta Cemetery. As you can see, very gothic uh, and incredible. Now, if you look down here, I have it on good authority that uh, that the uh, the vampire Elvito lives down there because it's air conditioned and it's better, much better for her uh, decomposing flesh. Uh, but I will be showing you later the grave of her, the official grave, but she actually lives down there. And that's where all the zombies and famous vampires would live. Because uh, if you were above ground, your corpse would decompose quickly, whereas with air conditioning, you'll be able to have a uh, longer afterlife. Zombies. With my uh, flawless Spanish, I'm, I'm able to read that this girl uh, drowned in a lake, if you read it. She drowned in a lake, and this dog went with her, and the story, the legend, is that uh, the dog would sit by the lake every day waiting for her to come out. Of course, she never did, alive at least. And they say that it these days that if you go by the lake you can still kind of see a dog or hear a barking even to this day yeah. zombies <laughs> so you notice how the cemetery this uh, tomb of M. Pacheco uh, is devoid of all ornate uh, flourishes and glass and is super thick and solid with just this lock where there's no way out. The reason is M. Pacheco was a very famous uh, werewolf from the mid 19th century and to make sure that he could not escape, they locked him in here and he starved to death. And legend has it that if you ever open this door, he will attack. So that's why. Solid. So this right here is proof of uh, zombies or vampiras existence. Notice there were coffins in there. And now they are missing. Where did they go? To hunt the living? Who knows? You know, your guess is as good as mine. <laughs>